Welcome to the Lux Tiny House. This spot is seriously amazing. A 32 foot long tiny house on wheels. Let's go check this place out. Today we are in Berlin, Ohio, in the heart of the biggest Amish population in the US. If you have not experienced Amish country, it is a seriously cool place to visit. More on that at the end of this video though, we are about 90 minutes from Columbus and Cleveland at Tiny Stays Berlin. There are two tiny houses you can check out here, the Scandi and the Lux. It's a good thing I brought my every time Levi says tiny take a drink mug. Yeah, that clever comment I've seen for about 100 times, I decided to make it into real life. Isn't that cool? <laughs> anyway, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Lux, which is this beautiful 32 foot long tiny house on wheels. Legit, the biggest tiny house on wheels I have ever seen. Assuming it's 8 feet wide, like every other tiny home on wheels or container home, that would be 256 square feet of living space plus a loft. The butterfly roof is a neat touch to the design as well as the gorgeous exterior design. The two-tone color palette of white and brown wood is very eye-appealing as well as the geometry of it all. This tiny house has a deck that spans across the entire length of it and this hides the fact that it's on wheels which is nice and just add more space to do things since the square footage is limited. Huge bonus. There's a fire pit at the end along with a privacy fence. You may be concerned about how close it is to the other tiny house but we face opposite ways and both have privacy fences. Honestly feels very private. The host did a great job separating two. There's even different walking paths to each so you can never bump into the neighbors if you didn't want to. If you want to book the spot or even the other tiny house, head to the link down in my bio to check them out. Now let's walk down the path and up on the deck and walk inside to check out this tiny house. The hosts design all of this themselves. The layout is like no other and the amenities are superior to anywhere I've been for a tiny house. Starting off, the ceilings are 12 feet high which makes this feel so much larger. The windows everywhere let in the light and this helps make the tiny house more spacious feeling. The left side has your kitchen and living area. The kitchen has several cabinets along with a full size fridge and microwave. You have a stove top as well as plenty of countertop space on this nicely done aluminum looking top. This paired with the blue cabinets and gold accents looks great. Across from this is your dining table area against this huge window, perfect to eat or do work at. They leave some baked goods for you which is a nice touch. Next to this is a really cool coffee bar area. All the angles and textures are fun with a diagonal board and batten wall and the X shaped legs for the counter. So cool if you ask me. They also provide local coffee and everything you would need here. After this is your living room area. It's a pretty unique setup with two sitting chairs at the bottom and a couch on a raised platform. It looks very cool. There's a bookshelf under the platform and storage in the steps. The railing design is spot on with how they did it. The couch up here overlooks your tiny house and may be wondering why it's propped up here like this. Well, hidden in the ceiling is a 90 inch projector that lowers where you can watch anything on your 4K projector. How cool is this? I love seeing how creative people can be with their homes and I think this is so much fun. But this isn't even the best part of the tiny house, I don't think. Let's walk on the other side and check out the bathroom and bedroom. The sliding door opens to your bathroom and oh my goodness, this bathroom is where it's at. This has to be the largest and best bathroom for a tiny house I have seen. In here, there's a giant jacuzzi bathtub with beautiful blue tiling, this mirror, and a waterfall shower head all under the skylight. This is a very cool bathroom setup. You have a towel warmer over here as well and there's just plenty of space to get ready in here. You can even do your laundry here with your washer dryer combo. This is my favorite bathroom I have seen in a tiny house. So cool.
We can step out of here and walk up these steps with the same cool handrail design and enter into your loft bedroom. This sits above your bathroom and it's a cozy spot. Your bed is perched up here so you can actually lower this guardrail like this and take the built-in step out and hop up in the bed. Up here you'll find your second skylight which lets you sleep under the stars. Can this tiny house get any cooler? You can, of course, close this and all the other windows up here for a total blackout. Lastly, there's a closet up here behind this door if you thought there couldn't be more to fit up here. The attention to detail that was taken with this tiny house is just the next step up. You have all the details around. There's two closets in this tiny house, which most of them don't even have a closet. The bathroom space from all the tiling and the lights everywhere in this mirror. This is stuff that you don't have to add, but you do for the experience of the guest, which I think is why people like to come to these ones. This is one I would highly suggest. And even the handrail design and the fact that the projector is hidden in the ceiling. It's just those small details I think that really matter along your stay. The hosts really wanted this tiny house to be where couples come and really spend some great quality time together and I would agree with them. This is a great spot. With all of that, this is your 32 foot long tiny house on wheels, the Lux. This is probably my new favorite tiny house I've shown on this channel. And if you agree, let me know in your comments. Also, let me know what your favorite part of this tiny house was. Mine was the bathroom. <laughs> This is located in a really neat town where all the Amish community live as well. So there's so many delicious restaurants and antique shops. A lot of the restaurants are all local ingredients, locally grown as well. So that is a huge plus. And it seems like people really know how to cook and prepare food here because it tastes just absolutely incredible. There is a farm tour where you go to go look and take a wagon across the farm and check out animals. This is, Savannah and I did this and we really loved it ourselves, but I'm sure if you have kids, they would love it too. I'm not sure if you'd be here with kids though, but if you're just a couple, Savannah and I absolutely loved this and would do it again. So I would suggest that. Next week we will be touring their other tiny house, the Scandi, which is a totally different design compared to this one and I think you guys like that one a lot if you liked this one especially this one was just absolutely incredible I'll see you next week at the other tiny house if you are a fan of beef jerky well I have the perfect place for you Paul Paul's jerky the link is down below they are veteran owned and operated beef jerky business you can do weekly subscriptions or monthly subscriptions and they have tons of different flavors and this is perfect for Airbnb hosts or just beef jerky lovers. You can always have a constant supply. It is very good, actually. I highly suggest it. So many to choose from. <laughs> we have a new baby on board. Check out the baby birth vlog on our second YouTube channel. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next week.